Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Satik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Multithreading is one of the most powerful feature of a Java programming language. Before I am going to start the programs on multithreading, I firmly believe that all of you should have a very good theoretical knowledge about what is multithreading. So in my today's session, I am going to discuss with all of you what is a thread and what is the meaning of multithreading and why it is very important in Java program. Dear students, first of all, if multi means we know that multiple threading here. What is the meaning of thread first of all? In Java, in our Java program, a thread is a, a thread is a part of a program, part of program. What is a thread? Thread is a part of a program. Now, what is multi-threading? Multi-threading refers to multi-threading is the way to execute to execute multiple threads concurrently. So dear students, what is multithreading? First of all, let us take one Java program. Divide that Java program into small parts. We call individual parts as threads and run those individual parts simultaneously or concurrently. We call this concept as multi-threading. Okay, let us say I have, there is one Java program with me. There is a Java program. So what I am going to do in this Java program? This is a Java program. So for this Java program, I will divide this Java program into some parts. First part thread 1, second part thread 2, and third part thread 3 and all these three parts that is all these three threads I am going to execute I am going to execute them simultaneously we call this concept as multi-threading sir what is the advantage of multi-threading you people will get one doubt <clears throat> why we will use this multi-threading in Java sir by using the concept of multi-threading we can control the execution of the entire Java program in parts, which is this feature is not available in earlier programming languages like C or even C++. By using multi-threading, we can divide the program not only into parts, but we can control those individual parts when they will execute, how long they are going to execute, okay, when the thread is going to finish the execution. Each and everything we can able to control by using the concept of multi-threading. Okay, in simple terminology, a thread is the thread is a smallest piece of a program. So, when we are writing a Java program, we can define thread as a smallest piece of a program also. So, we have no matter. Depending on the complexity and length of the program, we can divide that program into individual units called threads and we can execute them concurrently. Now, the major point, sir, theoretically we have understood what is thread and how, uh, what is a Java program and how we can divide those Java program into threads. We got a theoretical point of view, it is clear. What about practical, sir? Okay, whether, when a thread can be created, and how long a thread can be executed. So in my next session of video, I will be discussing about one topic, thread life cycle. What is the life cycle of a thread in a Java program? Then soon after, I am going to start how to create a thread and what are the different ways of creating a thread in Java program. So dear students, any types of questions, you can simply put it in the comment section. So don't miss the next videos. They are very, very important. Once we get the practical knowledge of multithreading, then surely we will think that this multithreading is, is indeed a powerful feature of Java program and Java programming language. 
So with this, let me close my today's session of video. See you soon, everybody. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.